Hey guys, welcome back. I'm James, this is Gracie, and you're watching Auto Amateur. Welcome back guys. This is a DIY video and my daughter Gracie is in the background getting the car clean for me. You know, you've got to start them young, get them onto the Porsche brand. Uh, in this episode, I am going to be installing a sports chrono clock onto the interior of this 991 and it's one of my favorite interior features. In this though, the car didn't come with the sports chrono, but I'm putting it in aftermarket. First up, before I do anything, I'm gonna change the face color of the clock unit itself. I picked up the unit from eBay, it's secondhand. Uh, the glass on the front of the lens got a couple of dings here and there, which I'll be touching up in another video. Um, but this is where I'm gonna start. You don't have to do this if you wanna maintain the existing clock color face that you've got, um, but it's relatively straightforward. Just unscrew the cap, be very careful as you take off the needles, uh, the hands of the clock, uh, and you also want to remember exactly where they were when you took them off because you're going to want to put them back in the same place. Here I'm taking off the face and on the back of the face there are four really small screws. They're Phillips screwdriver heads. Uh, really small, so get out your smallest electronic screwdriver, um, remove the four screws, and then that releases the face from this plastic backing plate. Once you've released the screws, it'll all just fall off. And then on the front, you've got the bezel, which comes out separately from the face itself. And this replacement face that I got from eBay, super high quality, it's metal, just like the metal front that's just come off the factory clock. Um, the color is a great match for Porsche Racing Yellow. Um, the bezel is the same. Uh, the face is the same. I, I would say it's factory quality. It's really, really impressive. Uh, you can see here on the factory front, uh, as well as the new one, the, the little silver outlines um, that you can see on the front of the face, they're there as well. Um, there is some texture there on the, on the clock face uh, that you can't quite see in this image, but it's there and it's, 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 a really, it's a really great quality product. So now that it's reassembled, I can start putting it back onto the clock face. And it's really just a reverse of the procedure you've seen already. Take your time. Make sure you put those hands back exactly where they were as you pulled them off. Uh, the main orange hand is, is pretty easy and straightforward to put in. The two little white hands, uh, especially for somebody with, with huge giant gorilla hands like I have, um, it's a little tricky, but with the tweezers and a little bit of patience, uh, you can get it on. Next up, we're gonna be preparing the wiring loom that goes from the clock to the back of the PCM. This is a genuine Porsche part. It's actually for the Cayman. I bought it online for maybe $20, $30. It really wasn't very expensive at all. Uh, you can see here there are two connectors and the smaller of the two connectors is the one that goes into the back of the clock. Now, you only need that one part of the wiring harness. So I'm gonna pull them apart here. You can see that I'm about to unbundle the two wiring looms and I'm gonna cut off, physically cut, the piece of wiring that I need to use, and then I'm gonna just discard the rest. So I'm undoing the black tape here, gonna to get to the end, and then I'm just gonna use a pair of wire cutters and clip it off. Once you've clipped it off, you've got four wires that you're gonna to need to deal with. You've got a brown, an orange brown, an orange purple and a red orange. And these colors correspond to the wires that are gonna be coming out of the back of the PCM unit that you're gonna tap into. Now, in order to make this all work, you need to extend these wires um, because you're gonna want enough wire to not only go through the dash and go to the back of the PCM, but to connect up while you've got the PCM unit out of the dashboard. 
uh, just to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. So here I am just stripping off the plastic um, from the wires, giving myself about an inch of wire to work with. And then I picked up this 12 gauge uh, wiring, standard kind of electrical wiring from Amazon. I think it was $10 for like 100 feet or what have you. Um, I've cut about six to eight inches off, um, four equal parts, and then I've connected them up to the wires. Next up, I'm gonna be adding some termination points here onto the end of the wires. Uh, this is gonna make clipping into the wires in the back of the PCM a little earlier. There are loads of different uh, versions and variations of a theme here that you can find. Again, I picked these up from Amazon, really straightforward. Um, you basically put them onto the end of the wire, squeeze them, compress them, and they, they stay together nicely. I've used just good old fashioned black electrical tape here to uh, cover up the, the, the joints in the wires, the connections in the wires uh, where I've extended them. You can use heat shrink, you can use whatever you want. Next up is preparing the clock housing trim. Uh, again, I bought this online. I picked this part up from Gowden Porsche Parts. Uh, it comes with uh, the, the hood for the clock. It comes with some screws and then it comes with the main trim piece itself. Really simple just to put it together. Two screws, keeps the hood in place. You can see a couple of little clips there at the front that sort of hold it all down. And then once you put the clock in, it looks really super impressive. And that's essentially it, you're good to go. Just a quick five minute job. Now that we've got the clock ready and we've got the wiring harness ready, it's now time to do the installation. You can just use a standard trim tool to help pop up. There are six clips here. Uh, with your existing trim piece and there is one wire towards the front there by the windscreen and that's a light sensor. You just need to disconnect that and then you can take away the, the old trim piece and you can move in with the new. Next up we want to remove the PCM unit. You can use your same trim tool to just pull out the, the two side panels there, the trim pieces from the center console, and then you've got four T25 or T27 screws that keep the PCM in place, and then you can just um, pull the PCM unit out. What you might have to do is slip your gear shifter um, down a couple of notches just to give yourself an extra bit of room, uh, and make sure you're using a cloth. Uh, I'm using a microfiber towel here to just make sure I'm not scratching anything. Now, you don't need to disconnect the battery to do this job. A lot of people like to do that when you're playing around with electronics. It's probably advised, but, but I, I, I didn't do it. I'm now using the, um, the other end of the wire taps that I bought from Amazon, and these just clip onto the wires that I want to tap into. Um, I use the, uh, the, the, the pliers there to just make sure that they are secure. Um, and then once they're in place, I can just hook up the other wires and plug them in with the, the female end uh, of, the, of the taps, which you saw in the earlier part of the video. Now, one great tip here from Tommy L. Garage, which I carry through into my job, I labeled each of the wires um, because as you're dealing with um, these extended wires, they all look the same. It was really useful to know which one was brown, which one was red, orange, orange, brown, orange, purple, etc. So this really made the job easy. Great, great tip there from Tommy. Now everything's connected. I'm just going to sit the PCM unit back into the dash. I'm going to connect up the clock and I'm going to see if it's working. Now, if you have the T model, um, you probably will get the sports chrono menu coming up in the, in the dash itself. Here, I just have the base Carrera, and once I connected the clock, um, the clock got power, and it synced with the PCM, so the time in the dash and the time on the, the PCM head unit syncs with the clock. Um, but what I don't get um, with my particular model is the unlocked um, sports chrono uh, features that you get in the instrument cluster with that extra menu. So it really is just a clock for this base Carrera. Um, I believe it's the same for the S, uh, but for those who like the Sports Chrono and just like the way it looks in the interior, it's a really, really great mod. Okay, well, that's it for another episode, guys. I hope you like the mod. I absolutely love the way it looks in the dashboard. Now it's time to get this car out, maybe strap Gracie in and go for a ride. Check in on the video soon. Bye. Clean that car, Gracie. Clean, clean, clean. Oh.